rent a tractor. My dad you had a tractor. He had an excavating business for numerous years. Well, he worked in the mills at the same time. <laughs> My raising five kids, you know, and trying to make a living kind of uh, nice for the family. Um, my dad, my dad worked uh, continually, 16 years as a truck driver, but he had an excavating business at the same time while he worked in the mills. And uh, back then, the mills were <laughs> mills were everywhere. You know, yeah, uh, they'd be like two on every corner. <laughs> and so, uh, but yeah, he took and had a excavating business and. So I gotta take and I'm gonna rent a tractor and and uh, come down here and probably rotate this and till you know get it all tilled up and do some fertilizer and um, then take and do uh, uh, oh what is it uh, and, it, and then maybe pl maybe plant big old garden down down here also. The other, a further section over, um, it's not good for uh, planting. Um, it's so close to the creek. Actually, this right here, this is all flood area. When the t when the uh, creek and the pond, which uh, this is the p full pond right here, um, we got a dam right here, and then that's the uh, that's the rafting company's pond over there. That, that's a horseshoe shaped pond. And uh, we owned that property for numerous years, like I previously said. And then we sold it. And I got a dam right there, which um, I need to take and get in there and work on that. And then, uh, actually, I can see my boards. My boards are kind of, so, so yeah, I want to take and fix this all up. You know, put like a really nice bridge. I think this is a freaking part of a highway sign or something. <laughs> Somebody cut down and threw down here. And so, yeah, this is a horseshoe shaped pond for the uh, Oars Rafting Company. And uh, and then uh, this, this stream goes over and then goes, fills up in my pond. And I want to take and uh, I got to seal up this pond. This pond's never held water. Uh, this thing can be totally overflowing. I mean, I mean, this whole area where I was standing in the wintertime. This actually becomes a whole lake because you got the creek and the pond. They fill up together, and this uh, that section over there, yeah, it'll take and get up to about two feet, two feet of uh, of water at, with, at max. We've seen this before. The whole section, this section here, all the way up to the bank, and over there to the uh, pump house, pump and well house right there. It, uh, and there's some oak, oak I cut down. Gotta come down here and rip, snag, snatch that all up. But that big old branch right there, that fell. That fell to the winter. We had a storm. We had a winter storm. Actually, we had a decent, decent amount of uh, snowfall. We, I think, a uh, total accumulation for this winter. I think we had uh, like three feet in the valley. That was total, you know, for the whole season. So. Um, so yeah, that big old branch right there busted off from uh, right there, and uh, just from the snow, got too heavy, got too heavy, and uh, the tree couldn't handle it. So actually, up on the hill, I had like a, a lot of branches that took and uh, busted off because of the you know, couldn't, couldn't handle the stress of all the weight, and so it broke off. But so yeah, this is some of the work. And then uh, I got my uh, work that I got to do down in Salton Sea. And uh, right here, this is where my big old plum tent. In fact, here's my, my base right here of one of the plum trees. And then let's see. Yeah, they just all up and died. I mean, all of a sudden I came, you know, the plum trees just, so I took and I went ahead and took them on down. And I got off thin this all out and come down here and weed, eat it, hedge it. You know, clean it all up, make it look really, it looks really nice when I, when I'm on top of it. Thin out all the, you know, all the organ grapes and they're all coming back in. So, so get this all, all fixed up, make it look, make it look nice. 